from Big T Lumber and today we are going to remove the old crane off the Maruka. Uh, we got it loosened up uh, about a week or so ago and uh, it's ready to be removed from the Maruka so we can install the log loader onto it. Uh, the Woody 170 uh, that's here behind me uh, right over there uh, and that's going to make us more efficient uh, bringing in the cut to length wood. Uh, and uh, it's still a good working crane. Uh, I might sell it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, uh, but uh, the log loader will, will make us more efficient over, over there. Get the skid steer all in place. Gonna lift that crane right off there. Got the forks on it. Got my heavy duty straps right here so it, it'll be nice and easy on the crane when we take it off not gonna scratch it up or anything and also we've got the uh, connecting hydraulic hoses right here and so these will connect on to the log loader Match, matches right up these these fittings on this end match up with the half inch NPT right there and then on the other end, it's just a half inch pipe fitting that we found out. So unfortunately it's gonna be a easy swap uh, to, to swap the, to set the loader on there and also uh, connect the hoses. I was worried about that a little bit. See, this is a Japanese machine, but uh, no problem at all. And there's the seat that's gonna we're gonna make a base for that seat, and it's gonna. Um, you can see right there, there's a the tractor seat. We're gonna make a a base for it off the top of that cab frame, uh, and the control should be over that air box, I guess we call it. So I'm uh, real excited, and uh, it's gonna be. Pretty neat. And, uh, Gilbert Weldon's gonna be here in just a few minutes and help me get it done. We're getting ready to pull the old crane off. Taking the last of the nuts off the U-bolt. Last two U-bolts there. All right.
the old uh, crane sitting over here. For now, I'll prop that up, put some blocks under it. But came off, still in good condition. like with everything off just have to get a plug in on this, this extra hose didn't see before we took that off while we were lifting it so I'll just get a plug for that we'll be in good shape ready to uh, start getting the log loader ready to put on the Maruka. Uh, first thing we've got to do is get these uh, supports removed on the bottom, outriggers. Uh, they're not going to fit on the Maruka so we've got to slide, get those slid out of there. Got to lift this up high enough to get, the, to get them out and also to be able to lift them up on the the whole thing up on the Maruka so and the uh, the skid steer is not lifting it high enough it's only getting it a couple feet off the ground it's got to get about four feet off the ground at least so we've got the, the Fonzie here and we're gonna bring it up to, to do the lifting this time He lifted the log loader pretty easily and we're getting the log loader ready so we can remove the 
outriggers and the cylinders. We're going to save those, but cut the, the bottom foot off of it. So we can, because that won't fit on the roof. Okay. Good.
doing some measuring and we set this squarely on the machine we're gonna have an issue there with that support so we're just gonna offset it right onto that hole that's already there and uh, should be an easy fix to that we'll offset it over towards this side this is the side we'll be loading on it's, it's tight going through the cab and through that air opening on the other side. We've got all this room on this side, so we'll cheat it an inch or two this way. And we set that up on that frame. It's 36 inch wide on that frame. Making good progress on the loader install on the Maruka. It's uh, almost in its final position. Just gotta tweak it slightly just to 
get it on there perfect but it's sitting flat on the mounts there and it's got good clearance over the bed so that will swing nice and the skid steer's got it on the other end it's almost, almost the perfect fit for it so we're gonna also work on the bracket for a seat right here and we'll see if we can find a way to hinge it or have it removable in case we gotta get get into the engine compartment but it's getting there So Nick's been busy uh, cutting holes in the, the frame here of the log loader, so making it fit with the those U bolts. But they they kind of come up through quite a ways there. And uh, while well, he's been doing that, I've been running to hardware store in town, and I uh, got some caps for these four hoses that took off that went to the outriggers so those are all sealed up and there was an extra return I didn't see before here and I that was just a 3 8 plug I needed for that one so I've been running running to town to get those taken care of and Nick's been here he's got a another U-bolt in over there and here's a look at everything on this side Coming together. Just making a spacer over there, trying to get the last few bolts tightened down. Yeah, this one tried to tighten it, but uh, it just needs a little bit bigger spacer. <laughs> Looks good. I love it. Alright, so the log loader's all mounted now. Uh, the only thing left to really do is connect the the uh, hoses and make sure that the other stuff that was unplugged is all tight and then we can test it out. I've got a little bit of a hydraulic oil I'm going to just top off the tank with. But I'm going to take these uh, lines here that I unplugged and plug them into these new hoses. There's one right there. Left side is the feed. So we're connecting the feed line right now. and didn't swivel okay so uh, we just uh, connected the feed on the other end and now we're going to connect the uh, the supply here on the maruca so the maruca is going to um, uh, plug into the feed now on the 
loader. Okay, so we've got the log loader all installed and it's working real good. Um, very quick, um, you know, about, as, about what I thought for quickness, but uh, still really impressed with it and impressed with how good it works uh, with the Maruka. And so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Big T from Big T Lumber. Uh, keep an eye out for BigTLumber.com coming this spring. Uh, thanks again for watching it and uh, have a good day. Thank you.